In a world where vehicles have replaced humans, cars begins with a blaze of excitement and will take you through it from start to end. Lightning McQueen, a young and self-confident race car sporting a sleek red finish and the number 95 on his sides, is getting ready for the Piston Cup Championship. This is more than just a race for McQueen. It's a chance to escape the shadow of two other prominent race cars, the veteran Strip the King Weathers and the sly, antagonistic Chick Hicks. The race is intense, with Lightning opting not to change tires during his pit stops, prioritizing speed over safety. As he nears the finish line, disaster strikes. His back tires blow out, causing him to skid and lose his massive lead. Lightning, however, doesn't give up. In a desperate move, he thrusts his tongue out, barely reaching the finish line in what becomes a three-way tie. It's a historic event leading to a tiebreaker race to be held in a week at the Los Angeles International Speedway in California. While other racers have established teams, Lightning boasts that he is a one-man show. It's clear that his arrogance and focus on self-image have isolated him. He fires his pit crew after the race and insists that his hauler, Mac, drives through the night to California to get a head start on PR. After a long drive, Mac, suffering from fatigue and harassed by a gang of mischievous street racers, loses McQueen. Lightning, in his sleep, rolls out of the trailer. Waking up in a panic on the highway, he chases after Mac, but ends up on an old road leading to the forgotten town of Radiator Springs. McQueen's entrance into Radiator Springs is nothing short of chaotic. In his desperate attempt to find Mac and get back to the interstate, he inadvertently wreaks havoc, tearing up the main road. When he's finally captured, it's clear he's not in a friendly place. The town's eccentric residents, including Sally the Porsche, Mater the rusty tow truck, and Doc Hudson, the town's judge and doctor, view him with suspicion. Held in the town's impound by sheriff, the next morning McQueen is taken to traffic court. Eager to rid the town of this troublemaker, Doc Hudson is ready to send McQueen on his way, but Sally intervenes. She sees an opportunity for McQueen to right his wrongs by fixing the road. Reluctantly, McQueen agrees, believing he can finish quickly and leave. He soon realizes that the task is harder than he anticipated. The road repair serves as a backdrop to McQueen's slow immersion into the world of Radiator Springs. He gets to know the residents and their stories. There's Mater, whose goofy nature hides a heart of gold and who introduces Lightning to the joys of tractor tipping. Sally, a once successful lawyer, shares the tragic history of Radiator Springs, a thriving town on the famous Route 66 before the interstate bypassed it, leading to its decline. Guido and Luigi run the local tire shop and are fervent fans of European racing. Fillmore and Sarge, representing the age-old hippie versus military dynamic, provide comic relief. And then there's Flo's V8 Cafe, the local diner and gathering place where Flo and her husband Ramon, a car with ever-changing paint jobs, reminisce about the town's glory days. Perhaps the most poignant relationship is between McQueen and Doc Hudson. When McQueen discovers that Doc was the fabulous Hudson Hornet, a three-time Piston Cup winner, he confronts him. Doc's bitterness towards racing and the fame it brings stems from a crash that ended his career. This revelation makes McQueen rethink his aspirations and the cost of fame. McQueen's presence starts revitalizing Radiator Springs. He receives a new paint job from Ramon, dances at flows, and even goes for a drive with Sally, appreciating the beauty of the surroundings. As days go by, the once self-centered race car begins to understand the meaning of community, friendship, and history. Yet, as McQueen becomes an integral part of Radiator Springs, the outside world hasn't forgotten him. News about his whereabouts reaches the media. Just as Lightning and the town have formed a bond, Mac and the entire media circus descend on Radiator Springs. Lightning is faced with a dilemma, torn between his old life and the new connections he's formed. As Radiator Springs is suddenly thrust into the limelight with Lightning McQueen's discovery, we see a contrast between the old world and the new. The media frenzy engulfs the once quiet town, but even amidst the chaos, McQueen's transformation is evident. Rather than being entirely consumed by the attention, he seems torn, having grown genuinely attached to Radiator Springs and its inhabitants. However, the Piston Cup Championship in California awaits. Lightning is transported there, but not without a touch of Radiator Springs with him. 
Unknown to him, Luigi and Guido, the enthusiastic duo from the local tire shop, have also come along to support him as his new pit crew. They join Mac, Lightning's loyal hauler, in his pit. The climax of the film revolves around the highly anticipated tiebreaker race. It's intense from the get-go. Chick Hicks, one of Lightning's rivals, plays dirty, wanting to win at any cost. But this time, McQueen isn't racing just for himself. He's racing for Radiator Springs, the forgotten town that changed his life. During the race, McQueen recalls the tricks and techniques he learned during his stay in Radiator Springs. Doc Hudson, to everyone's surprise, also arrives at the race, offering guidance to McQueen from the pit as his crew chief, a role reversal from his initial disdain for racing. As the laps continue, McQueen's new tactics put him ahead. But Chick Hicks, desperate not to lose, causes a massive accident, eerily reminiscent of the crash that ended Doc Hudson's racing career. The King, the veteran race car, is sent hurtling out of control. As Lightning is about to win the race, he sees the King's plight. Memories of Doc's past flood in. In a profoundly defining moment, Lightning breaks just shy of the finish line, allowing Chick Hicks to win. Instead of securing his own glory, McQueen goes back to help the King, pushing him over the finish line to ensure he finishes his last race with dignity. This act not only confounds the audience and media, but also makes it clear that McQueen has changed. Victory isn't just about a title, it's about integrity, respect, and friendship. Post-race, McQueen is lauded not for winning, but for his sportsmanship. He's offered a new sponsorship deal with Dynaco, a prestigious brand, but he turns it down, deciding to stick with Rusty's, the brand that sponsored him from the start, showcasing his newfound loyalty. The film then moves back to Radiator Springs, where McQueen decides to set up his racing headquarters, bringing life and tourists back to the town. Radiator Springs begins to thrive again, with businesses reopening and the neon lights illuminating the streets once more. McQueen's relationship with Sally deepens and he truly becomes a part of the community. Doc Hudson embraces his racing history, putting his trophies back on display and mentoring McQueen. Mater's dream comes true when McQueen arranges for him to take a helicopter ride, a promise he had made earlier in the film. The movie closes with the characters enjoying their rejuvenated town. Cars from all over come to visit, and Radiator Springs regains its former glory as a landmark on Route 66. McQueen, once consumed by fame and speed, has learned the value of slowing down and cherishing the journey. Zooming through the heart of Route 66 and into our hearts, Cars reminds us that life is about the journey, not just the finish line. If you enjoyed this drive down memory lane, hit that like button, subscribe for more epic recaps, and drop a comment about your favorite Cars moment. Remember, life's a highway, so enjoy every mile. What movie do you want us to do in the next video? Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.